Imagine a world so real, so vibrant that it rivals the world outside your eyes. This isn't science fiction. This is the reality for individuals with hyperphantasia, a fascinating neurological phenomenon where mental imagery explodes with an intensity beyond the ordinary. Picture a ripe red apple. Can you see its smooth skin, almost feel its weight in your hand? For someone with hyperphantasia, this mental image is as vivid and detailed as if the apple were right there in front of them. This extraordinary ability offers a unique window into the workings of the human mind. It challenges our understanding of imagination, blurring the line between the internal world of our thoughts and the external world we perceive through our senses. But what exactly is hyperphantasia? How does it differ from normal imagination? And what are its implications for those who possess it? Join me as we delve into the intriguing realm of hyperphantasia, exploring its origins, benefits, and challenges. Prepare to have your perception of imagination challenged and expanded as we embark on this exploration of the superpower you didn't know existed. Hyperphantasia. Hyperphantasia describes the ability to experience mental imagery with extraordinary vividness and detail. Unlike the average person, who might catch fleeting glimpses in their mind's eye, Individuals with hyperphantasia report a richness and intensity that borders on real-life perception. For them, imagination is not a passive act, but an immersive experience. Imagine reading a novel and not just understanding the words, but seeing the characters come to life, feeling the warmth of the described sun on your skin. This ability extends beyond just sight. It encompasses all senses, creating a symphony of sensations within the theater of the mind. Hyperphantasia is a fundamental difference in how the brain processes and generates sensory information, painting the world in vibrant hues for those fortunate enough to possess it. To grasp the significance of hyperphantasia, it's crucial to understand where it sits on the spectrum of mental imagery. At one end lies aphantasia, a condition where individuals experience no visual imagery whatsoever. Moving towards the center, we find the majority of the population, who experience average visualization. They can conjure up mental images, but these tend to be fleeting, lacking the clarity and detail that characterize hyperphantasia. Hyperphantasia occupies the far end of this spectrum, representing a significant deviation from the norm. It's important to note that hyperphantasia is not a disorder, but rather a variation in human experience. This spectrum of imagination highlights the diversity of human cognition and challenges us to appreciate the multifaceted nature of our inner worlds. It underscores that there is no single normal when it comes to mental imagery, and each individual's experience is valid and valuable. While only a qualified professional can diagnose hyperphantasia, certain signs might suggest its presence. Do you find yourself lost in daydreams so vivid they feel real? Can you effortlessly picture the faces of loved ones, recalling even the smallest details with perfect clarity? Maybe you possess a remarkable memory, effortlessly recalling events from your past with cinematic detail. If these experiences resonate with you, you might be one of the estimated 2-5% to of the population who experience the world with the heightened senses of hyperphantasia. Other telltale signs include a strong emotional connection to memories and a proclivity for detailed descriptions and storytelling. If you suspect you might have it, the best course of action is to consult with a neurologist or psychologist specializing in this area. The scientific understanding of hyperphantasia is still in its early stages, but research is beginning to shed light on this fascinating phenomenon. Neurologist Adam Zeman, who coined the term aphantasia in 2015, subsequently identified hyperphantasia as its counterpart, sparking a surge in interest within the scientific community. Studies suggest it may be linked to increased activity and connectivity within the visual cortex, the part of the brain responsible for processing visual information. This heightened activity could explain the vividness and detail characteristic of hyperphantasic imagery. There appears to be a correlation between hyperphantasia and other neurological traits, such as synesthesia and increased creativity. As research progresses, we can expect to gain a deeper understanding of the neurological underpinnings of hyperphantasia, paving the way for potential applications in fields such as education, therapy, and creative arts. 
Visionaries Among Us, Famous Potential Hyperfantasics While it's impossible to definitively diagnose historical figures, certain individuals throughout history have exhibited traits suggestive of hyperfantasia. Leonardo da Vinci, renowned for his detailed anatomical drawings and visionary inventions, famously claimed he could visualize anything he wanted, down to the smallest detail. Nikola Tesla credited his groundbreaking ideas to his ability to mentally construct and test his inventions in vivid detail before ever putting pen to paper. Although we can't know for sure if these individuals possessed hyperfantasia, their extraordinary accomplishments and creative visions hint at the potential power of this remarkable ability. The Gift of Inner Sight Advantages of Hyperfantasia while we tend to focus on the challenges of any neurological difference, it's important to remember that hyperfantasia, like many such variations, is also a gift. The ability to create and manipulate mental images with such clarity and detail offers a range of advantages, both in everyday life and in specialized fields. For artists, writers, and other creatives, hyperfantasia can be a wellspring of inspiration. Imagine having the ability to walk through the rooms of a building you're designing before a single brick is laid, or to experience a story as vividly as if you were living it yourself. Beyond the arts, hyperfantasia can be a powerful tool for learning and problem solving. The ability to mentally manipulate objects, rotate them in space, and visualize complex systems can be immensely helpful in fields like engineering, architecture, and surgery. Hyperfantasia, therefore, is not merely a curious quirk of the mind, but a valuable asset with the potential to enhance our lives in countless ways. Navigating the Intensity Challenges of a Vivid Mind While hyperfantasia offers numerous advantages, it's essential to acknowledge the potential challenges it can present. The intensity of hyperfantasic imagery, while often a source of joy and inspiration, can also be overwhelming at times. Imagine being bombarded by a constant stream of vivid images, sounds, and sensations, even when you're trying to focus on other tasks. This sensory overload can be distracting and make it difficult to relax or concentrate. Furthermore, individuals with hyperfantasia may be more susceptible to anxiety and intrusive thoughts. If their minds are prone to conjuring up vivid imagery, it stands to reason that negative or disturbing thoughts might also manifest with heightened intensity. Techniques such as mindfulness, meditation, and cognitive behavioral therapy can be helpful in regulating emotions, reducing anxiety, and maintaining a healthy relationship with their vivid imaginations. Mastering your mental canvas. Harnessing the power of hyperfantasia. Rather than viewing hyperfantasia as a burden, individuals with this ability can learn to harness its power and channel it into positive outlets. By embracing their vivid imaginations, they can unlock a world of creative potential and enhance their overall well-being. Creative visualization, a technique used by athletes and artists alike, can be particularly effective for individuals with hyperfantasia. By vividly imagining themselves succeeding in their chosen field, they can boost their confidence, improve their performance, and even overcome creative blocks. The method of LOSI, also known as the Memory Palace technique, can be another valuable tool. This ancient mnemonic device involves associating information with specific locations within a familiar environment. By channeling their vivid imaginations into creative pursuits, they can share their gifts with the world and find joy in the act of creation. There you have it. What we're discovering about hyperfantasia isn't just changing neuroscience, it's redefining human potential. The ability to create perfect mental simulations might be the difference between average and extraordinary, between dreaming and doing, between seeing limitations and seeing possibilities, and here's what keeps me up at night. We've only scratched the surface. If some people can see perfect images, what other hidden cognitive abilities might exist? What other mental superpowers are waiting to be discovered? This isn't just about visualization. It's about the untapped capacity within every human mind. The brain you were born with might be capable of far more than you've been led to believe. So ask yourself this question. If you discovered you had a mental superpower tomorrow, how would you use it? because whether you realize it or not, you almost certainly do.
If this video blew your mind like it did mine, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. This is just the beginning of our journey into the extraordinary capabilities of the human mind. Our next video reveals the scientific technique that can enhance your visualization abilities in just 14 days, even if you currently see nothing at all. This isn't pseudoscience. It's based on neuroplasticity research that's changing how we understand the human brain. Join our mind exploration community. We're just getting started. Thank you for watching.